Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you all how to install Tesla's air filters. A step-by-step -step detail guide and I'll try my best to get the camera angle right so you can follow along with me. Uh, if your car is starting to smell when you turn on the AC, it's probably about time you need to replace these filters. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it, saving you some money so you don't have to go to Tesla Service Center or if you don't have access to Tesla Service Center, this will be a video that will guide you every step of the way. I went with the official Tesla filters. I ordered this from Tesla.com. Um, I could have gone a little bit of better deal if I went with some of the other third-party vendors in Amazon, but then the, the difference in cost wasn't that much for me. So I went with Tesla's filters um, to, to try it out how they are. These are uh, uh, charcoal activated filters. So we will um, we'll see how it goes. For this installation, you are going to need obviously two filters. So uh, there's two filters in the Tesla. You are going to need the Torque 20. Um, so the Torque 20 uh, a bit, and then I use a little uh, wrench, uh, it's, a, it's a ratchet wrench to make it easy to access. There's one screw, but it's in a very difficult position. So I recommend having a ratchet screw for that. We are also going to be using uh, the Coolit, the evaporator. Um, it's a foam cleaner and they, they are pretty good brand. Uh, actually, I have seen Tesla, official Tesla and the service center using this to clean the, the evaporator. Um, and we, we'll show you how, how that is done. If it is already smelling, you probably want to do the evaporative cleaning. We are also going to be uh, putting in this leaf guard. Um, it's kind of a mesh that goes right here on the front where the air intake vents are because it's open right now the air intake vent so this is supposed to guard from leaves and other dust and dirt going inside this air intake vent so we'll try that out as well with that um, let's get right into the video but before we do that please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already um, I make weekly technology videos um, and talk about different technology, mainly Tesla, different software update, uh, Tesla features, DIY videos, uh, and um, I'm gonna, I have a lot more videos planned and they're coming. So um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Let's get going. What we have to do is remove this, 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 and that. There are four pin connectors. I'm just going to take a plastic pry tool and just start front. So after the panel is out, there are two connectors, one for the light, the, the foot light, and then right here is what appears to be a speaker. So what you do to take this one out is there's a, a little push tab over here. You just push and then you pull it out. So that tab comes out and it says RPM Tesla because I got this aftermarket blue light. And then for this one, all you have to do, the speaker one, is you pull this up and it comes out. So now we can safely remove this panel and start working. Now our second order of business is to remove this carpet out from the passenger side. Um, and to do that, what we're going to do is we will start on the very corner over here where you can stop pulling it. And there are some uh, tabs there that are holding in place. Here is the the tab. 
this is what it looks like with carpet removed. Now what we need to do is, here is the filter bay. Um, what we need to do is remove this or put away this cable so it is not on the way. And um, right now I'm pulling it out super easy, but this was not easy. Let me tell you, I cut that part from my video because I was struggling a lot. This are really hold by this metal clips. Uh, as you can see, this stayed in my filter bay. Matter of fact, um, the way you take this out is really by pulling it. So you have to use some force to remove it. I thought I broke it or something, but it just came off and everything is still good. So you just have to use the force, some force to pull both of this out. One goes over here and then one goes over here. So here is the filter bay. We need to remove this. Uh, but the most difficult part of this whole thing is there is this screw all the way top here. And we need to remove that screw for us to be able to remove this bay. So for that, what I recommend is having a, a little ratchet wrench with the Torque 20 bit installed because there is no way you will be able to, or it is very hard to use a regular bit to be able to do that. So I extremely recommend having a ratchet wrench. So let's go ahead and try that. It's gonna be a little hard recording this, but all I'm doing is getting to this screw right out here. Well, that one is out. Now we should be able to pop that out. So there's your filters. Right there. So what do you want to do is pull this out. There's a little tab on the, the top one. There's two filters. We're gonna first remove this. And then, as you can see, there's a tab that helps us remove the second filter out. And there's the filter bay. So let's look at the filters that we removed. You know, just looking at it, I was like, it's pretty good. Like, did I, was the smell something else? But then, I start looking through it and as you can see on this the filter slot over here there's a bunch of seeds and dirt and I mean it is bad both of this um, have a bunch of stuff just stuck in um, in this slot so yeah it was it was time to get it replaced so I mentioned in my intro, we're going to be using the evaporative cooler um, from Kohle and how it works is they give you this little cap that goes right here and then you push on it and then the foam comes out of here. Um, so let's give it a try. So what we're going to do is put this hose and then just press on the foam. So as you can see, really putting the foam in there. We foamed up pretty good. I'm gonna take that out. So it's been about 15 minutes and I see the foam has melted. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the AC now. So next, we're gonna put the cover back on and let the AC run so that we can get all the evaporative cooler out of the car. Now that we have let the air run for a little while, we're gonna take this out, the cover and we are going to start putting our filters. Just remember the yellow part of the filter goes facing towards the back of the car. I'm gonna put this in. One thing you have to remember is that tab stays out so that next time you're replacing the filter it is a bit easier. 
we are going to do the same thing for the second filter and making sure that the tab is staying out so folding this tab here and we're gonna make sure this tab stays here and we are going to put the cover and we're gonna put this set of screw now next thing what we're gonna do is put the screw that extremely difficult screw here just a little bit more and then slowly work my way up to tightening it now that is all done we are going to put these cables back into where we took the cable out from so they are nice and snugged in there and we now have to just put this cover the carpet cover back on and then this one back on so this one is a little tricky it has this pins that need to go into this slot that right here and right here and right here and then there are a few including here in the corner so what you want to do is kind of align it very well and then once you have it aligned and push down as much as you can after you have the the mat aligned what you want to make sure is that you see this uh, pins that go into those slot right there so you want to make sure that they are aligned and they are ready to go and if you align a couple of them it becomes much much easier that the rest of them follow and you just want to make sure that you reach all the way in here and ensure that the clips everywhere is secured yeah and then on my case everything is secured and we're ready to put the the other uh, cover on find this one this slot over here to go into this tab so just from underneath here and fit it right here everything becomes much easier to put this cover on so once you have that tab aligned and it goes in it becomes much easier now to put everything on we just have to now put those plastic screws and we're done so we're just gonna start putting on the screws just push it in push it in push it in and it's all in we are done so the last thing we're gonna do is put a leaf mesh so that not everything goes into our filters do that I'm gonna open the front and we are going to have to remove this put that aside as you can see that is wide open right now so everything that escapes from this goes straight in our van air intake vent so we are going to remove this adhesive and put it right here so there is some adhesives that are holding this in place now instead of being wide open only certain things and air will pass through that and then we just put this back on easy and it's done now leaves won't make it so that is how you replace the air filter in your tesla model 3 it's the same process for model y 
Um, I will put it in the link below where you can buy these filters directly from Tesla as well as from Amazon with some good reviews. And this is the, the Kool-Aid that we used for the evaporator cleaner as well as the ratchet wrench and the T20 torque screw. So I'll put link for all of this stuff down below. It is a little tedious, especially for you know someone who is a little big. Uh, for me, it was, it was a little tedious and it was a little difficult than what I thought it was going to be, but it was fairly easy once I got a hang of it. And it was also difficult because I had to record while I was doing it. If I was just doing it without having to record, I think it would go much faster. Even with recording, even with, uh, having to drain the evaporator cooler for 15 minutes and turning on the AC. It took me about 45-ish minutes to complete everything and it's running good. My AC does not smell because I hated it with these filters. Uh, it was just so dirty that uh, it, would, it would smell really bad every time I turn on the AC. So now I don't have that. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so that I can continue making more videos in the future and bringing helpful contents to all of you. Your support really, really means a lot. Your comment, your like, your subscribe, everything means a lot to me. It gets me going. I want to make more videos and I have a lot of videos planned for, uh, for you all in the future. So please don't forget to subscribe again. Thank you very much. I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you.